Hello, my friend. Today we're going to talk about Tesla. Should Tesla buy Ford altogether? Just acquire the entire company? Can they do it? Let's look at it. Tesla is an incredible uh, company. It started out uh, fairly recently manufacturing electrical cars and the innovation that they bring is so so uh, so good that they have uh, built an incredible company in a very short period of time. Their sales are there. Uh, the limitation that they have is that they have a production bottleneck. They can't build the cars fast enough to sell them. They have a large manufacturing plant in California and they just recently built a large one in China to, to cater to Chinese uh, demand. But uh, they could be selling so many more cars if they could only produce them. So here's Ford, a much older company uh, that has many, many manufacturing facilities uh, throughout the country and worldwide. And they're building cars that nobody seems to want to buy. Uh, they, of course, have great brands, but uh, they don't have the demand nowhere near uh, the scale that Tesla has. And while Ford has been trying to develop its own uh, fuel efficient cars and electric cars, uh, they're way behind in technology. To, to Tesla. So, uh, in fact, Ford has many plants that are idle and uh, with reduced capacity utilization. And uh, if Tesla were to acquire Ford outright, uh, they would have immediately all these facilities that they could easily convert into uh, into manufacturing Tesla cars. I'm not saying that all the uh, Ford models should be discontinued on day one. They have a market and they have value, no question. But there is an opportunity there to make some synergies, uh, allowing Tesla to expand rapidly its manufacturing capacity and produce many more Teslas than they could if they just grow organically and continue to build factories all over. I mean, Tesla has a huge uh, battery factory in Texas and, uh, and you know, they have the capacity to churn out a lot more cars than, uh, than they are currently doing uh, in terms of battery production. So, uh, I don't know, uh, Tesla's market cap after its recent run-up in price is close to $275 billion. That's a huge market cap. I mean, compare that market cap to Ford. Ford only has a market cap of 26 billion. What's that? That's 10% of Tesla. So Tesla could actually issue 10% additional shares and acquire the entire Ford Motor Company. Unbelievable. Ford has $150 billion in annual sales, annual revenues, whereas Tesla only has $26 billion. I mean, it's a much smaller company in terms of sales, but I think the market sees the potential that Tesla has for its future. It's a growing company. It's almost not a car manufacturer, it's a technology company. But um, think about that. And General Motors uh, has a market cap a little bit bigger than Ford, it's 36 billion, but it has uh, lower sales. It has 115 billion in sales. So it's a little bit more expensive to buy General Motors, but uh, it's also a candidate, right? Uh, either one. I mean, Tesla could pick and choose which uh, car manufacturer to buy just to acquire that uh, uh, manufacturing capacity. I think it's, uh, 
it would serve them well to at least uh, study this possibility. I'm sure that, you know, they have smart people and they have considered this before. I'm just uh, stating the obvious here. But I think it's an interesting uh, proposition for Tesla. So um, I hope this video was useful and I hope you liked it. Um, I certainly wish you the best, my friend. Be well.